I remained as positive as possible. Um, and then there were a lot of things that were um, going against you know, like a gene. My father had had um, a couple of different cancers. Um, my youngest sister died of pancreatic cancer like five years ago. And um, my middle sister actually had breast cancer um, probably two years before all of this happened. My husband had a trip planned and I didn't want him to not take it. And so he was going to Vegas, so his mom was really great. She went with me. And I had to tell you, waiting on the doctor to come in that room was crazy. You know, I just, just waiting, you know, just waiting. It's a scary word for everybody. And, and most people, unlike the ones who treat cancer, don't talk about it every day of their lives. They don't know somebody every day of their lives who've got cancer, but they do have memories of, may have had memories when they were kids growing up of family members, of, of friends who had cancer, and they may have, have recognized that this is a problem. I personally don't like using a white coat when I'm doing this, because I think that patients like to feel comfortable without the imperiousness of the white coat. That's my own personal opinion. And it's worked well. Uh, so when I get a sense, I tell the patient, uh, usually in a situation like this, which is a non-invasive cancer, in Rondolin's case, I usually start off with something very hopeful. He says, yes, um, you do have cancer and it is in your right breast and it is um, what we call ductal carcinoma. But there was a moment when I had to face reality and say, you know, wow, you know, this is a real diagnosis. This is real. This is, yes, it may not be as severe as it could be, but it is real and it is happening to me. A lot of times I'd say people complain about my doctor doesn't talk, that my doctors don't talk to each other. They feel like they're kind of left out in space, they don't know what the next step is or why they're doing this. As I said, the breast clinic is an educational place for the patients also. And not just the breast clinic, we have several multidisciplinary tumor boards for each tumor site at the system and we have about three or four other clinics doing the same thing. Patients and their families all better understand their stage of tumor and why they require certain treatments. There are no two patients exactly alike so we can't treat them as if we were baking a cake. It's not a cookbook and so this is personalized management of breast cancer, which has become a key word for breast cancer management, and not only breast cancer, but many diseases. I'm just glad that um, they did everything that they did. There's no other way to put it. They were great. After I went through radiation, um, my son found my book that said, you have breast cancer. And he said, mom, you have breast cancer? You didn't tell me. And I said, no, I didn't tell you because I didn't really know how to tell you, but I'll tell you now. And I talked to him about it and I said, but mom's a survivor. And mom's fine. He's like, you could have told me I would have been okay. So.
I have cancer, but I am not alone.